On this super review, let's take a look at the 10 Hertz P4 Pro. All right, so we got another pair of in-ear monitors here, and this is the first pair that I've heard from the company 10 Hertz. This is the P4 Pro, and why they call it the P4 Pro? Well, the four is indicative of the number of drivers that they've got in each earphone. And interestingly, this thing has got four balanced armature drivers in each earphone. A lot of these multi-driver headphones are combining balanced armatures with dynamic drivers. And some people like that, some people, some people have problems with that. I personally never really had a problem with the hybrid drivers, but I'm kind of curious to see how 10 Hertz has, has tackled the sound signature, their goal of completely transparent headphones. Let's go ahead and open it up. We'll find out what you get inside the box of the P4 Pro, and then I'll give it a listening test, run it against my reference library of music, and compare it to some similarly priced in-ear monitors. These things cost 120 bucks, which is putting them in the leagues of like the Eco OH-1, the BGVP DMG, which are some of my favorite headphones. We'll see how does the P4 Pro compare. All right, so we got the 10 Hertz P4 Pro sitting here in a box, and I'm excited to open this thing up and, and give these things a listen. But first, let's go around the box and see what we can find out about it. So right here off the bat, they claim to be a completely transparent headphone, and I, and I have a feeling they're talking about the sound signature, not the, the transparency of the plastic shells. And that's gonna appeal to me if, if it's transparent. Transparent sounds nice. Let's see, applicable for any device that contains the 3.5 millimeter interface. Uh, yeah. Oh, QR code, now's your chance. I'm just kidding, taking it away from you. Oh, you want that QR code? There you go, I'm taking it back away. Um, over here, we just got a picture of the cable. Uh, nothing up there, nothing down there. But down here in the back, we actually got some, some information. Um, this is just you know confirming that it is four balanced armature drivers. Uh, showing the frequency response of 10 hertz to 40k hertz, which pretty typical claim for a headphone in this range. Again, this is a $120 headphone. Sensitivity of 110 decibels, uh, left, right ch channel balance. It does have an MMCX connector, uh, which is definitely worth noting. Um, and claims less than 2% distortion. I don't know what normal amount of distortion is. I don't know what an acceptable amount is. Less than 2% sounds small, but they're also, yeah, I don't know why they would say that. Uh, I'm not gonna read all this. If you'd like to, go ahead and go for it. All right, um, that was all the time you get. Now here we've got a frequency response graph. It's ostensibly showing me what this headphone is gonna sound like, but frankly, it's not gonna mean much to me at this point because, look, I've seen a bunch of different frequency graphs and it's hard to compare frequency graphs from different sources because different people measure things differently. And then once they've got the data, they present the data differently. So this looks like a really flat sound signature, right? From the bass up to the upper mids, and then it looks like the treble falls off. But a lot of the times people will compensate these curves because people's hearing tends to actually accentuate these, these sounds right here. So. I have a feeling it's not gonna sound like what it looks like here. A little bit of spoilers down here about what we're gonna find inside the box, including a headphone cable with microphone, uh, memory ear tips, silicone ear tips, so two different styles, as well as a storage package. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll see what we actually get inside this box. All right, so what do you get in the box of the 10 Hertz P4 Pro? Pretty decent spread. This is about what you expect for 120 bucks. Let's start off with the instructions, which actually have these nice little diagrams about how to wear a pair of headphones. They don't, they don't show my favorite tip. My favorite tip is to lift your ear 
when you put it in your ear and and maybe i'll show it in in the later video i'll show you how i like to wear in-ear monitors but it does have at least some instructions there you do get a little carrying case that you know kind of looks like leather but i'll tell you right now it's not leather in fact it smells more like glue than it does leather but I don't know, I think that's a pretty handsome look. You do get two different styles of ear tips and we knew about that. Um, you get silicone tips and it's got medium silicones pre-installed, but you also get these nice foam tips in three different sizes and these things are pretty soft. Generally foam tips, I think, give you a really good fit and uh, will tame sibilance or they'll tame treble if there's too much trouble for you. Personally though, I generally like quite a bit of treble and we'll see what these things sound like. And then you get to the cable which is, it's a nice looking cable, but it doesn't lie very flat. You can see that it's kind of fighting me. Um, we'll see how it is to handle and what, the, what that's like to live with. It definitely feels like it's made well, um, just not quite as floppy and loosey-goosey as I generally prefer. But up here you do have preformed hooks, which that's what I like to see. And then we get to the buds, which are made out of this really nice resin. Um, I think that's a pretty handsome looking bud, but really what's gonna matter is what does this thing sound like? So I'm gonna bring my Walkman, hook these things up, run them against my reference library of music, some Michael Jackson, some De La Soul, the typical stuff, a little FKJ, a little FKJ. We'll find out how transparent these headphones truly sound. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do that and I'll come back and I'll let you know what do I think. All right, I've been listening to the 10 Hertz P4 Pros for a bit now. And frankly, I think this is a really, really nice headphone. But before you go out and check it out right now, I got a few things that I think you should know about it. Um, let's first, let's start off with the build quality of the P4 Pro, which I think is definitely one of its strengths. The, the shells are made out of a clear resin, or it's kind of like a smoked clear resin. And resin is another word for plastic. And you might know I generally prefer metal housings on my headphones versus plastic. And I'm totally willing to make an exception for resin shells because frankly, look, the resin has got properties more closely matched to uh, glass than what you would assume with normal plastic, right? They've got a nice weight to them. Um, the way that you, the, the light bends through them is really actually pretty attractive. Um, yeah, I think the, the resin shells are actually just really, really pretty nice looking. Uh, but apart from just being nice looking, these things are also shaped really, really well at least for my ears and frankly like these things when i put them in my ears when i when i fit them in they just they seem to like hug the inside of my ear and i don't know how they did that without actually mapping my ear but they did a pretty good job the these things just generally fit super super secure and that that tight fit it's not just secure it's also really good for for noise isolation um, which, you know, for in-ear monitors, generally people are trying to maximize sound isolation. Uh, I personally, you know, sound isolation is not a top priority for me, but um, I, I definitely don't mind it. And the sound isolation on these is definitely above average. One of the things that's contributing to that sound isolation, however, is something that you should know about. And that is the fact that because this is a balanced armature headphone, there's no dynamic drivers in here. They didn't need to have any vents, no air vents. So there are no air vents. When you plug these things in your ear, it's basically creating a full on air vacuum seal inside your ear, which for some people might actually be uncomfortable. Uh, for me, it was a little bit uncomfortable at first, but I got used to it. Um, in fact, I'm able to wear these for pretty long amounts of time, very long listening sessions. Uh, but that is something to keep in mind. Some people might be bothered by that, and some people might see that as a total positive, right? Uh, again, it, it creates a lot of isolation. I, I think the gen generally the fit and the build of these is excellent. The NMCX cable that it comes with is a very simple cable, um, very no frills. And in some ways, look, I don't really like how stiff it is. I don't know, you can really tell here, but it just doesn't lie super flat. And that bothers me a little bit, but I don't hold it too much against it because I, I do actually really like just how simple this cable is. Like the terminal is just this really small, simple terminal that it 
there's no weight to it. It's very, I don't know. It's a very clean design that I appreciate even though the, the, the function or the, the weight, the, the drape of the cable is not my favorite. And then the P4 Pros also come with a little carrying case that in photos looks like a pretty nice thing. And in person, I'll be honest, it's not quite as nice as it looks in photos. Um, it's a little bit bigger than I would typically use, which is okay. That's, that's not really a serious complaint. Um, just generally the finish on it, it shows, a, I don't know, there's some rough edges to it. You can see like some of the cardboard peeking out from underneath the fake leather. It's not my favorite aspect of this headphone. Um, and frankly, I could have done without the case. I could have done without the case and maybe a bigger selection of ear tips, but this, frankly, this thing already comes with pretty good selection of ear tips. So I'm not going to complain about it, except maybe I kind of did just complain about it. Forget I just said all of that. The case is fine. You can pretend it doesn't exist, but really it's the sound quality of the 10 Hertz P4 Pros that I really, really, really like. Um, and you should definitely know that this is a very neutral sounding headphone. So if you're into a very sharp dynamic V signature, you're not going to get it with these. If you're into really big blast and bass, you're not going to get it with these. Now the bass on these I think is good. I think it's fine. It's a, it's a, it's a very subtle bass. It's strong, it's punchy, but it's not emphasized. And if you're looking for that, I would look at a different pair of headphones, but if you want something that's got just a pretty mature bass to it, um, very strong mids and very clean highs. Well, the 10 Hertz P4 Pro I think is a pretty good option. If I had any complaints about the sound signature, I would just say that I could do with a little bit more treble energy. I think these things lack some sparkle. Um, they're just, they're pretty tame in the treble in general. Now the strengths of that tame treble is that these are a very non-fatiguing headphone. This is a headphone that I personally can listen to for a long time. Um, and there's also just no sibilance to speak of. Even listening to Queen, Freddie Mercury's voice tends to be sibilant with almost every headphone I've got. No sibilance with the P4 Pro, and that's pretty impressive. So there is a bit of a lack of treble there for sure, but there is, it does come with some benefits. Uh, one other downside to that lack of treble is I think that it contributes to the relatively small stage that the P4 Pro has. Um, small stage is not necessarily the best way to describe it because it's got a decent amount of sound stage. It just doesn't feel like it's dancing around your head the way that some other more trebly headphones can. Um, and maybe that's why I tend to like trebly headphones is I like that sense of stage and it's pretty good here. There's still pretty good instrument separation, pretty good layering and stuff like that. Uh, it just doesn't have the biggest stage and the most dynamics compared to some other headphones. But again, that's not really what they're going for. They're going for just a generally neutral, very natural sounding headphone. And I think they nailed it. Look, I can't overemphasize enough. And I don't think I've said it enough. The, the P4 Pro sounds supremely natural. I was running these against the T2s, the original T2s, which are known for being a very neutral sounding headphone. And these things are more neutral than the T2s for sure. The T2 has got a little bit more treble energy in it, and it does make it actually a little bit more exciting than the P4 Pro. Uh, but like the, the naturalness of the sound, just, you know, how clean things sound and how natural, I guess is just the word I'm going to stick with natural. The vocal sound is definitely a step above with the P4 pros, whether or not that's what you want. I'll leave that up to you, but that is definitely how I would describe this headphone. One thing also worth calling out with the P4 pro is that it is very sensitive in ear monitor which just means that at very low volume settings on your device, these things will get plenty loud. So if you've ever had any problems getting your headphones loud enough, I promise you, you will not have that problem with the P4 Pro. These things are surprisingly sensitive and there's not even like that much hiss, like with some other sensitive in-ears that I've got, if I connect them to my Walkman, there's a pretty noticeable hiss that I attribute to the Walkman, but somehow, these things are managing to just not do that. So out of five stars, I'd give the P4 Pros a very solid five stars. These things get all the stars I got to give. Um, look, I could do with a little bit more treble sparkle. I'll admit, I could do with a little bit more treble sparkle, but what these are, for what they are, these things are excellent. Um, the natural sound, the relaxed listen, the very neutral sound, the nice solid bass without being overwhelming, the great fit in the sound isolation. There's a lot of things going for the P4 Pro. 
And when I was doing my evaluation, so on Amazon right now, these things are about 150 bucks. So when I was doing my evaluation, I was comparing these in mentally versus other $150 headphones. But if you check these out on Linsole, and I'll have a link in the description down below, these things are currently going for 120 bucks. And if you happen to see these pop up on Mass Drop, these things show up for under $100 which is pretty, that's pretty impressive. So if you're interested in checking out the 10 Hertz P4 Pro, of course, I've got links in the description down below. While you're down there, you can hit the like button for the video. If you liked it, you can subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you in the next super review.